What it is, you guys, it's your boy, Mr. Nutella, a.k.a. The Chocolate Center. And it's your boy, Uncle John. You already know what it is. No need for introduction, man. It's your boy, Noel Johnson. And guys, we have a special guest right here <laughs> for today's episode of Listen to Us. Introduce yourself, my man. How do I got to introduce myself? They already seen me before. They seen you, but I mean, do I've they been, know you though? Of course they know me. I've been in the vlogs. I've been in the yeah, yeah. I've been in the one, two, one, two videos. You know what I mean? So so. But I haven't seen you. Oh, guys! By the way, happy New Year's. Yes. You know we haven't had a chance to post a video to tell you guys happy New Year's. So happy New Year's mm -hmm. to the greatest YouTubers of all time. I mean, this year, this decade, we're about to take over. It's gonna be crazy. But you guys know. I feel nice when you guys clap. Still, which I still do. Guys, wearing the merch, guys. <laughs> merch coming soon. Well, I forgot, Stay tuned. But well, I forgot mine's in the washer, so I had to use champions to kind of match it, but whatever. Yeah, so, guys, welcome back to another episode of Listen to Us, guys. Hey, man. First of all, like he said, Happy New Year's, you know. So, we're back at it again with another episode of Listen to Us, guys. Same routine. We ask questions, and then we get to know the special guest. All right, guys, also, you guys are ready? If you have a question, feel free. Don't be scared. You know? And if you guys have a question too, put it down below. Right, and we're going to answer the next Listen to Us episode. Yes, and if you want to be a part of the next episode of Listen to Us, guys, don't be shy to message me on Instagram, Uncle John on Instagram, and Noel himself is back on Instagram, so you guys can hit him up, guys. And if you guys want to follow Blair on Instagram, we're going to put everyone's link down below, guys. All right? Let get, let's get right into this video, shall we? Guys, so first question, all right? Let's start off heavy. What's hard about dating you? <clears throat> What's hard about dating me is yes. I... It's not that I put you second, but just the fact that I do things in life. Let's just say because I play basketball and I work and I also work and I do YouTube videos. So it's going to be hard sometimes come to manage time. I'm still going to make time for you. But just the fact that sometimes it's hard to put, sometimes it's hard to put you before like the career I do. I still love you, but it's gonna be hard. So that's one thing that's hard about me. Something that I can change, but I gotta think about my career first. I'm still gonna be there for you, but just that's only my problem. Just time and stuff like that, right? What he said, you know, because your career first, you know, and then on top of that, uh, I have trust issues, you know. So uh, it takes a while for me to to get close to somebody, you know. So you gotta stick to it, you know, you gotta fight through it for me to to respect you, you know. Just like just like what those two said. Like but like I like my personal space sometimes. So like I like my personal space sometimes, so it's kinda and I'm also kinda I don't know, like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deep question, it's guys. Question. She has it's to deep. think a lot for this I one. Don't know. I like my personal space sometimes, like, sometimes, like, like, time management too, like, as in, like, um, you know, let's say, like, my friends, like, hit me up, like, yo, like, you know, like, yo, let's go do this, let's go do that, and then it's like, oh, like, my girl wants to do this too, and then it's kind of like, yo, like, shit, like, you know, who yeah. should I, who should I, you know, who should I chill with? Chill sometimes with it's you. hard to bring her or them, yeah. like, to the same plan because it's weird, right? Exactly. Like, see what you like mean? them both, so yeah. it's hard. Then it's kind of like, yo, and then it's like, yo, bro, you, and then, you know, because you have, there's some people out there who be like, yo, bro, like, what, you're going to put your girl over us? Like, yeah. fuck, you're with the, you're, like, yeah. you know, we're dealing with Nah, to be honest, friends like, like that fun. is like, that's not good, man. Because, nah, like, yo, yeah. they have to know that, you know, it's your girl, and you have to make time for both of you yeah. guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, she has to come first sometimes, though, you know? Facts. Like, nah, I don't have any niggas like that, though, so I'm grateful. Yeah, you're blessed. But, so how about you, bro? For me, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what's hard about dating me. Because I never had, like, uh, I had a relationship, but it wasn't, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's hard about dating me, to be quite honest with you guys. I feel like you guys answered everything, but for me, I don't know. I really don't know. I need to be in a long, long, long-term relationship to know. And then I'm gonna get back to you guys <laughs> that question. But, right? if I, but if I was a girl, I would have date you. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I'm the yeah, happiest woman so? in the world. I think so. Still. Yeah, I'm yeah. Love. <laughs> uh, Uncle John. Just good. All right. Next question, guys. Next question. Name one thing. Oh no, not this question. What's what lesson have you learned from your past relationship? Can I be first? Because I answered last last time. 
One thing I learned about my past relationship is that um, don't listen to your friends. That's one thing I learned. Um, don't listen to your friends. Uh, what else? Don't be easily influenced. Guys, be careful. Because, you know, uh, some, peop some people don't date to uh, get married or anything. You know, I date to get married. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to hop, hop, hop. A relationship relationship you know what I'm saying I'm trying to my next relationship I wanted to be my wife you know what I'm saying so I need to be uh, I can't be easily influenced and listen to my friends of bad things you know what I'm saying well now nah, I have a good friend you know what I'm saying so I'm good I'm not easily influenced so the next girlfriend I have I'll at me you feel me <laughs> and what, what, what's the question again what's uh, what's what lesson oh. did you learn from your past relationship well me I've talked to women but I never had like it's just, I've talked to women, I called them my girl, all stuff and stuff, but it was never like superficial. Probably I can say only one, it was like the closest one. But what I've learned about it is be a real nigga still. Like her has to be a real, a real woman because, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I don't know what am I saying still, but like what I learned, <laughs> what I learned about the, the, in my past, geez, I don't know, I just got to be a little bit, um, I guess more communication, I guess. Because um, sometimes, like, you know, when you, when you guys have no communication and then she wants this, you want that, and it goes to a fight, instead of you guys talking, just go to a freaking fight. That's not cool, right? So I think that's the only thing, just more communication. And just both of you guys have to be real. So she has to be real and I have to be real too, you see? Yeah, I think that's yeah, yeah, same here. That's what I learned about my past relationship. So we have the same mind because every question yeah. that I every answer, <laughs> so we have the same. Only yeah. real people, man. Only the real, man. But, uh, so yeah, what are you saying? We're fake, fam? Yeah, communication. You know, communication is key. You know, I realized that too. You know, because sometimes, like, I had things to say or in an argument or whatever. You know, I have something I want to speak about, but I just don't want to say because you know you don't want to get the other person mad. Or, yeah. You know, you just keep it inside, and then you know it just stays in, and it grows, and at some point, it just explode, and you know all that because of lack of communication. You know, so that's the main thing that I learned about my past relationship. Always communicate, no matter what. Even if it might break her feelings a little bit, break her heart, but you know, just 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 say, you know, you're gonna feel a little bit better afterwards. You know, even same thing for her. You know, if she says something that that pissed you off, let it be. You know, like that's that's her way of relief from stress or whatever. It's better than her keeping it inside and then you know dissing you after a year, a year later, telling you something you did two years ago or something. You know, so communication is definitely key. Shit, for me, yeah, you know. I don't remember the last time I've been in a relationship, to be honest. Maybe like high school. I, like, I don't even think that was serious. That was like a serious thing. But, like, I don't know, but like, if, like, maybe from like the talking stage or whatever, like, what I can, uh, the lessons that I learned from it. Uh, There's a lot of deep questions for this guy. Yeah, eh? The way he moves, he looks like he did a lot of mistakes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's fuck, bro. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. But I don't know. I don't think. I guess, I guess communication, that's the biggest key, yo. Communication is the key. Also, um, you know, like, uh, focus on your relationship. You know, a lot of people look at other, other people's relationships, especially yeah. nowadays, social media, you know, you're looking at celebrities, Fam. looking at people that you don't even Preach know. Preach, my guy. Fam, Preach I want to be alive, man. You're trying to put that Social into media has a lot of relationship. You know, look at this person, thing. look at that. Yeah. You yeah. Know, it just, it just I'm not even going to lie. Up. I was talking to this one girl, Broski. She can, like, she, she compared, like, what our little relationship like other people bro like yo it wasn't serious yeah. like you know what like, okay let's like just say she was checking her phone then she saw like you know some cute couple she's like i want to be like them like bro like, who exactly, that? Yeah. like i remember there was one time like, too like you know she saw like someone um bring the uh uh a freaking uh a bentley to his woman for his birthday she's like oh i want that too Bro, I can't even get myself a bike. How the hell am I gonna go get you a Bentley or something like that? Like, what the hell? What am I? Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna steal a bank for you. Like, what the hell? But it is what it is. Focus on the relationship. Yeah. But guys, speaking of ladies, what's the first thing you look at when you see a girl? I look at into. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like people are gonna think that I'm dumb. People might think that I'm playing games, but I look into your eyes. You see, if I see a girl with shades, I take them off, and I want to see your eyes like that. Eyes. You see what I mean? Cause I look in people's eyes to see if you're real or not. You see what I mean? One time I met a girl. I look into your eyes. It spoke to me. So that's how I went. I had to go. You see what I mean? I don't like a no butt. No. What's the whole point? You see what I mean? It's just it's, it's their body. I have a butt too. Yo, I don't I'm, care. I'm weird. 
But I look at your nose and lips first. Nose and lips? Yeah. Why the nose? Fam. Some girls have ugly nose, huh? <laughs> so <laughs> it, it defines the face. Because mind you, the nose is right in the middle of your face, fam. So I if I could look at you for a long time, and then your nose is fine, your lips are nice, your eyes is blessed, and then I'm going to have to look at the back. You feel me? He's bougie just the, just the fact because he has a nice nose and a nice lips. That's the reason why he's singing all of that. Guys, he come wants on, to be man. Oh, shucks. Look, at, look at the ass first, automatically. Oh, nah, when, you, when you see a girl, just look at the ass. And so, then I can look at the face. Okay, so let's just, let's just say, so you saw her face. What are you, so you going to say? Hey, turn around for a minute. Yeah, I'll look at her face and I'll be like, Sometimes the looks. I mean, sometimes it's not always about the looks, you know. Her personality, she could look like, like super bad. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah, I know, but like he says, but, nice. but he said first impression. But he said first impression. You just can't see Ew. a girl that just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I know. No, but I know, but like you know, you can't really talk about personality if you never saw her before. No, but no, we're saying like once you get to know her and stuff, and then you're like, yeah, this girl's kind of. But he said first impression though. It's kind of ugly, huh? No, he said first impression, like like the first thing you see, like the first. Yeah, no, but I'm just saying. Yeah, like you're just saying. I'm just going to But it's not like it doesn't matter if you have a flat ass. It's not like I'm not going to talk to you. I still spoke to girls with flat ass. First thing I look I at love flat that. ass. <laughs> I love, love it. I like everything. Well, I, I like everything. You know, I like everything. You know, I'm, I'm a little boo. But, but, but if it's woo woo, no, me, no, I don't, no, I don't like woo. No, me but. actually like whatever you look like. I will still love you regardless. You see what I mean? What's regardless. The point? You see what no, I mean? No discrimination. No discrimination. Flat ass, ass, flat ass. Guys, what would you no say like that? Guys, speaking Big of love, ass. would you guys pro propose in private? Or in front of your family and friends. Private. Wait, we're pri private. We're private. It's just like one private. Of one. Me and you on a private. date. I propose private. to you. Would you be my wife? Private. Uh, it Ooh, depends, private. though. You know, if I feel like the relationship being a little bit off here and there, private. I'm gonna do it private. So if you say no and throw me a drink, then I'm cool. But if I feel like you really love me, you see what I mean? Every time I say I love you, you say it back. Then okay, I might propose in front of everybody. Just bring like a cute horse. You see, you want a cute white horse or something like that. You see what I mean? Propose in front of everybody. Play like a song or private. something like that. Private, keep it on the low. You know we'll get married on the low. You look at the type of person you're just gonna get. You're gonna get married just you and her. Like you just, you guys just kissing. You guys are yeah, blessed. Just me and her. Nah, private. For me, nah, it's gonna be private. It's gonna be private, but like I'm, a, I'm a videotape it though. Facts. I'm, I'm sure the whole world see it. I'm gonna do like a yeah. big meet and greet. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna make sure that everybody sees that she's all. That she's I'm gonna do private and then um, engagement party. That's it to show people that we're engaged. You know what I'm saying? I oh shit now. I already know how I'm gonna propose. Yeah, program. facts. I already know how I'm gonna I've propose, but you know, it's gonna be, honestly, it's gonna be like top five, like mo like the most beautiful proposal. Yeah, I'm yeah. Out the, I'm out, not even out. Like, Guys, out look, at the look at his face. Look at his face. Romantic ass nigga. We're gonna have the best, yeah, gonna have the best oh, proposal in, that in this shit, decade. Bro. This decade oh, will be oh. my proposal. Trust me. Yo, yo, take it. In. This is the decade we're gonna have. Facts. Oh, oh. Shit, that's a decade. By 2030. Jeez. So, guys, next question. How long do you think it's the right time for you to introduce your girlfriend to your parents? Actually, first, nah, to your parents. I was about first, to say friends, but friends is a that's the first thing you show about. Yeah. Because me, first of all, how ask, long does it take? Because first of all, for me to ask a girl to be my girlfriend it takes like a while. So now imagine showing it to my parents. Probably What's like a while? Ten years, bro, ski. Huh? What's a while to you? Ten though? years. Uh, a while for me to ask a woman. Yeah. Out? Damn, it'll well, be probably years. like six, six to eight months just to see, you know, if it can last. But I'm still gonna be yours, but like, Facts. I just take time. But just to show it to my parents, it might be like 10 years. But the first time you're gonna see my parents, you're gonna be old and shit, you know? Exactly. What I'm Cause yo, think about it. Cause if you just show your girl, if you just show your girlfriend to your, to your parents, like when you ask her out, and out of nowhere, two weeks later, you guys break up. Mm -hmm. Your mom is going to be like, bro, like, what happened to your girl? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I don't mind talking to, to them about Exactly the about have, her, but, but introducing like, is like a whole step, true. you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'd rather introduce my girl when I know that um, it's going to be the right time for me to ask her to be my wife, you know what I'm saying? But probably, okay, a timestamp, probably eight months. Because I know I'm happy in the relationship, you know, it's been quite some time. My friends seen her, my best friend seen her, my family members seen her, but my parents, probably eight months or a year still. Sure, I'll probably give it like half a decade, five years. <laughs> oh my God. But like, that's the thing. So imagine if like 
you walk with her and then your friends bump in, like you guys bump into each other. So what are you gonna say? Then they bump in, fam. Be like, oh shit, that's that's, that's my nigga, man. That's my broski. No, no, I should give you that's my broski. You play cool, play cool, play cool. That's my broski, you know, you know. But nah. yeah, so what are you gonna say though? Nah, for me, like I'm slow as fuck, bro. I'm like the slowest person. Like yo, I'll take like months just to ask a girl out. That's yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, like, you gotta know if yeah, she's the one. You know what I'm saying? So like for me to meet my purse, because I have like my mentality is like yo, like my purse only gonna meet like one girl. Yeah, one. me and too. Then it's That's gonna be like the saying. last yeah. one. So like for mm-hmm. me to like, so for her to meet my parents, it's just gonna take a while. Deep. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna take a while. So like, that's just my mindset. So exactly. You know, she got she she got to be patient, but you know some people don't have like patience. Patience, so. exactly. So. Some girls want because I remember I was talking to this girl. And then a week from there, she told me that she liked me. I'm like, all right, whatever. And the next week, she's like, yo, when are you going to ask me out? I'm like, fam, yo, fam, we haven't even been on a date yeah, yet. Like, yeah, fam, I'm like, what's wrong with you, yeah, bro? That's light work. One time I met a girl, 6 o'clock, 6 p.m., mind you, right? I was like, oh, okay, cool, we're vibing, 8 p.m. She's like, when are you trying to ask me out? I'm like, wait, what? But, you know, I kind of skipped it away. And then, like, at 9 p.m., she's like, oh, I want to see your press. I'm like, bro, she's going to yeah, do something. Like, bro, like, yeah, it's not good to rush things because when you rush, what happens? Oh, you crash. You, you, she, yeah. Exactly. What you said. You know what I'm saying? That's a good quote because, guys, you got to have to listen. When you rush, it's going to die quick. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know if she's the one. Actually, it works on some people, but you know, that's because yeah. you're lucky. You but know what I mean? It's good to take your time. Though. But it's really, 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 really rare that you see a relationship that's rushed and it's perfect. Mm-hmm. It's really rare. So, what? You sent me another question. Uh, you know, you, thank you guys. I love this question you guys are sending us. It's actually perfect. Like, I like it. Okay. Like, ask me a question. Going past the relationship questions with girls and all that stuff, okay? When you have your own business, okay? Mm-hmm. When you have your own business, how do you deal with friends, friends, families, and discounts? Your real friend should know that, um, okay, if you're only my friend, Broski, you're still paying. If it's $70, you're gonna pay $70. Mm-hmm. But if you're like my broski, you see what I mean? If we're like close like that, I'm gonna give you for free. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you for free. But if you're just like a friend of mine, which you're supposed to like, you know, support it, so you have to buy it. You see what I mean? So I'm just like, support the thing. Because if you do something and you want me to buy it, I'm gonna buy it. You don't need to give me the like, cheap price. I'm gonna buy the full price because I support you. You see what I mean? But that's how I do my, my things. I don't know about you guys, but. I got, I got a couple of friends that, that own their own businesses, so they already know how it goes. So nobody complains, everybody's supporting mm-hmm. each other, nobody's worried about the discount, you know, because we're all up in each other at the end of the day, so I don't really have that type of problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just feel like it's just a support of you know I mean, if you're a fan, friend or family, whatever the case is, you know, you should just support your friend's mm-hmm. business, you know what I mean? Just pay the full price. Yeah, because go this guy, we, we told him that we're going to get him for free. This guy's like, now nah, I want to pay full full price. I'm like, broski, we're giving you for free. Nah, fuck that. You know, because that's support, support right? That's you know support, saying? but we're gonna, still going to get it for free anyways. Bro. Exactly. Like, yeah. like, you know, like, um, your friends are supposed to know that you have your business, right? But if you keep asking, oh, can I get a discount, 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 you're not supporting. Fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because what if I want to get to a million and then you keep asking for discounts? How the fuck am I supposed to get in a million? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, with discounts and business and shit, you gotta know it. it's I a business. Everybody man. the same. Like, this this is a cold world. <clears throat> These mean streets with Syria. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Who said that? I think it was Fab. Yes. Yeah. Fam, no, wonder, no wonder, man. Just like, yeah, yeah it's a cold <laughs> world, literally, fam. Because you can make anything a business. You know, I can buy three phones, and then. Flip it and then boom, it's a business. You know what I'm saying? That are sure it's a business, but it's not supposed to be a business. It's just like something that exactly. you're Exactly. Like, you know what I mean? So you if you wanna... keep asking discounts, you're not supporting me. You just you just want free stuff. It's good to have free stuff. Don't get me wrong, but you have to support really? your boy's business. I'm, I'm wearing champion. I bought it full price. Really think if I go to champion and ask champion your broski, like holla at me. It's gonna be like, what the? What are you doing? You buy this? You know, buy the thing. You see? You don't care about us. Well. Yeah. Oh, one question off the top of my head. What do you think about um, black people supporting uh, black people's business? Oh, I love it. No, I love when black people support. Honestly, in general, I just love when people support each other. Man. Regardless, you can be black, white, whatever you are, I still love when people support each other. That's the main thing. That's the I feel like black, black people lack, lack supporting yeah, Black people lack, lack support. Just the fact that 
I feel like they don't want to see other people winning. I feel like it's just us, like black people, were just born like that since the first black creator of all time. Like I guess it just went from there to there. Cause I don't get why not every every black people support each other. Mm. But you see other culture, they're all supporting each other and shit. But regardless, of me, I just say like, I just love when everybody support each other. That's my number exactly. one thing. That's what I always say on Instagram and Snapchat. Like, I support each other because you guys are all gonna win. What's the whole point of me winning and they're not winning? We exactly. all have to win together. See what I mean? And I'm losing breath, so you guys can go take. You see a lot of that in Toronto. So she- Toronto yeah, has a lack of Toronto support. Oh, oh, oh my haters, God. Bro. Oh, my God. 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 But I love it's it. Crazy. It's crazy. It's like, it's like, why? Like, why are you lack, hating? The lack of support is at an all time high right now. Exactly. Like, you can be, like, I could be supporting you, but, like, on the you're not low key, but, like, you can yeah, be hating on me. You're hating. You're hating on me. You're hating on me. That's not good, still. It's so, never good. That's what, like, I feel like that's what, like, like I don't know. I just feel, I don't want to get in, deep into it. You're gonna go deep, you're gonna see people waiting for you at your house and stuff Facts. like that. They're pissed you know now. But uh, last question before we introduce this guy, before he talks about himself. What's the biggest lesson you learned in 2019? This is a new year, guys, 2020. Happy New Year's, by the way. But what's the biggest lesson you learned in 2019? Never, never give up no matter what. Like I told you guys before, I got into a car accident, I gave up, I gave, I gave up on everything, my whole thing, everything I did, I literally gave up. And then, long story story, supportive people, my family, mom, dad, sisters, everybody, they all helped me. They all made my, my memory, my mind, everything positive. Basketball got into me as well too, so I'm just like, okay. So I woke up from the whatever give upness I had. I woke up and I didn't give up and now look at me. The doctor said I would have not be who I, whatever for five to six months but look at me i've been back for like in the 24 hours that's how i know the doctors are lying to me but like but whatever man just saying that never give up that's a lesson you guys should never forget bro well that's mm-hmm. lesson I learned. a lesson i learned in 2019 is a lesson that i learned very early on in the decade was uh like you seem sad you, you, uh, like you felt this question hit you, yeah, do, do. you know, no matter, i like that you know, no matter how long you know somebody one day, you know, you guys might just grow apart, you know. You might know somebody for 20 years, 30 years, but somehow, some way, man, you just never know. You guys might just grow apart, you know. Facts. Sometimes that's just life, you know. It's nothing, it's not your fault, it's not their fault. It's nothing fault. personal, you know. Nothing personal, you know, it just, it just happens, you know. It's sad, it's not even a lot. And it's hard sometimes, though, because it's like, it's like they say, you know, don't, don't show no love, but it's hard, you know. You meet somebody, you connect with them, you show them love, and then, out of nowhere, you just disappear. You know, it's it, it's hard not to love somebody. You know, it's just but something it is what it is. You just gotta hold your heart. You know, it's like something is telling me that people that watched it and heard what you said, you probably touch like you're sad. I am. Bro, look at my face, man. Bro, look at my face, man. It happens. It happens, happens to everybody. You know, but it is what it is. It's crazy. It's what it is. You just you just never know. Yeah, like just like you know, my brother Spike said. You know what I mean, like. It just hurts to see like some people. Just... <laughs> but the way you said brother Spike look you were like a pastor, bro. <laughs> oh, it's a brother. Yeah. Continue, continue. <laughs> <laughs> he killed me, bro. I'm going to go to that. Seriously. But yeah, like, I don't know. Like, it's just, it, it's not like a big lesson, but, you know, it just hurts me to see, like, you know, like someone that, you just, someone that's been there, like, your whole life, mm-hmm. and then, you know, you just, stop, they slowly start to, like, just fade away and stuff. You know, you just, like, so you just start asking, asking yourself questions, like, yo, like, did I do something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, you know, like, Hopefully he doesn't take like, my joke too seriously and stuff, you know? And then, I don't know, that's just, that's not really a lesson, but that's just, that's just what hurt me the most, like, yeah. in 2019. Uh, for me, 2019, this decade was a whole roller coaster to me. Oh, this but 2019, the lesson that I, that I learned was no matter how much, how many things you do for someone, they will always betray you. They will, so, they will always forget. They will always forget. Oh, that's facts. And betray you. But they, but like, they always forget at this moment. But after this moment, when you're exactly. gone, like two, three years ago, now they're gonna remember it. Damn, I remember this guy helped me since this. Exactly. This, you know what I'm saying? Like that's crazy. Exactly. You see, like things like that, like that touched me the most, cause, bro, like, bro, fam, I helped you, fam. Like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? But and then you betray me, so it's like, all right, whatever. You know, I'm going to live my life, but I don't want to see you come back to me. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Touch. I feel like I'm, 
Like my heart just beat it like I feel someone's about to betray me. Not you know what I'm so saying? So. <laughs> but guys, just stay positive and everything will be perfect this decade. You know what I'm saying? Don't give up. Um, whatever you want to do in life, do it. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying Keep bro. your eyes on the prize. Exactly. We're all going to be successful individually, all together, our families together. That's what it is, man. Exactly. That's what I'm telling you. And you too, whoever that's watching us, you too are going to be successful. Just don't give up. Just do your thing. Exactly. This decade, this decade is not mine. It's not his. It's not his. It's, his. it's everybody. We're all going to do it Everyone. together. You see what I mean? A lot of people don't think like us. A lot of people say, yeah, this year is going to be my year. But we say this year is going to be our year. You know what I'm saying? That's why our logo is round. Because it's... <laughs> oh, I just thought yeah, about it. Right? That's crazy. <laughs> I never thought about it. But, yeah. Well, guys, now... Let's get to know our special guest, guys, because we, yeah. we, we, we know, guys, we know him, but you guys don't, you feel me? So, introduce yourself, tell them what you do, tell them what you want to do, whatever. Tell them your goals or anything, you feel me? I think this is like an interview. Yeah. I don't even know, you know how to start. You know, so. it's a quick interview, you know, if, if you want to go to a job and you want to talk too much, just give it to send to, them the you yeah. know your yeah. this is technically your resume. Yeah, basically. Just go ahead. What do you think? Okay, just introduce yourself. Yeah. You don't need to say any a lot of things deep, but you know they just want to know the special guest. You feel me? Shit, to me. I'm gonna say my name, of course. Cause <laughs> nah, you don't need to say the guppy. But um, nah, I can't, I can't say the guppy. <laughs> <laughs> from your nickname, your name is all a guppy. Yeah, yeah I, don't, right. I don't even have a nickname. Oh, you well, sure about that? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, I can list a lot of niggas. Yo, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, but me, I'm I'm just like a calm person, chill. I don't really I don't really talk much. No, I do talk a lot, I mean You talk a lot when you're comfortable. I talk a lot. I mean, yeah, like when I first meet people, like I'll kinda just stay, you know, just stay you know, stay cold all day. Studying things, you know, you know yeah, because you can just you might stay be quiet. Honest. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? so you're cool. You know, I just go with the energy. You know what I mean? If my energy starts with like, yo, like something, something game. You know, something's not right about these people. Then I just stay quiet. <laughs> not like me, man. You gotta talk so much. You know, it's not about me, though. But not still, but like, you know, even if they, you know, they got bad energy and stuff, you know, I'll still be nice or whatever. You know, I'll still, you know, talk a little bit there and there and stuff. But you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm cool. I'm friendly, real friendly. You know, I'm a, I'm a college student. You know what I mean? I'm in a sports management program. You know. Um, shit, fuck. Uh, don't tell them which school you go to because all the ladies you got might go and snatch him. I don't want nah, to. Nah, don't, do don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Never that. So, I have, I have a question. Yeah. So, what's your short term goal? Which is, what do you want to accomplish this year? What's your long term goal? As in, what do you want to accomplish at the end of the decade? By 2030. Uh, well, that's good. I want to answer that myself. 2000, by 2030? By yeah. 2030. So, the short term, what do you want to accomplish this year? And what do you want to like just become a better man, just become a better human being. You know what I mean? Just, just have a have a better mindset than how I started uh, the decade. You know, and about like hopefully like I wanna like I wanna learn a lot, I wanna grow a lot, you know what I mean? And hopefully like I just wanna like like I feel like I feel like I'll be able to like educate people around me, you know what I mean, like just, you know, show them like the knowledge and stuff, you know what I mean, like. That's what you're real, bro. So you said you do sports management, you said? Yeah. So what if you had uh, an offer somewhere around the world, let's say somewhere way, I don't know. Australia, Australia. that's Australia. Yeah. Sport. You know, like, the map. Would you prefer Australia, Australia, by the way, right guys? There. Yeah, 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 for real. Left, on the left side. Yeah, Australia, you know, what if you have to pack your stuff Go to Australia. Would you do Australia. it, or are you gonna stay because you got family? You might have a wife. <laughs> <laughs> or are you gonna pack your stuff and say, "Hey, my career first. Well, shit, like it's God's will, there. You know, it's God's will. Inshallah. Mm -hmm. And then you know, any opportunities, take it because it's natural. You only live once. You know what I mean? Yeah. That view, man, too, eh? So. So guys, yeah, so, I said like the Zomar brushes. 
Oh, did do you guys have any more questions for him? Oh, oh, another question? I feel like I have a question That's a that's a very weird too. Yeah, go on. Yeah. You see? Business call. You know what I'm saying? This guy is that's way... Only, that's only the beginning still. So you watch, you watch the next week. Come on now. Calls on calls on calls. That's great. What's yeah. your favorite sport? Basketball, of course. What's your favorite team? Favorite team? I don't really have a favorite team, but like... You know what I mean? Because uh, a man like LeBron. LeBron's always like jumping from team to team. Yeah, to you, team, team. you never know. So you just never know. If so I just... If you're a LeBron fan, you every other year. Yeah, you know, you're exactly. somewhere else. You know, you might be in Except Milwaukee. Else. You might be in Atlanta. You might be in Miami or... You might be in LA. Next week you might be in Indiana, you know. So <laughs> if you're a Rondo fan like me, you know, you hop in different teams like yeah, Cleveland, yeah. like Boston, you know, like third, third Memphis, team. like bro, like out of okay, it's not about me. So like, so so where do you think LeBron's gonna retire? Because we know he changes all the time. So where is he gonna retire? Honestly, no, nah, I feel like he's gonna retire to LA in LA. I feel like, like I feel like he might retire in like a few next. Like <laughs> Where's the Spanish speed in Phoenix? It's no, it's a guy might retire in Sacramento. No, okay, let's, okay, okay, let's stop talking about LeBron because every time we talk about he's gonna, he's gonna get hype, you know? People love to do that because when we talk about LeBron topic, it's gonna go. Right. Some and I'm pretty sure up. once we talk about basketball, it's, it's a wrap for this video. This video is gonna so go an hour long. I was, so, I was so close to talk, I was gonna say something. Exactly. Like, nah, I'm, I'm, you I'm feel gonna keep this mood for next time. Guys, man, yeah, so guys, make sure. You follow us on Instagram, links will be down below. Down what does you guys have to say? Make sure you subscribe and make sure you tell the world, tell your friend, tell your your, your family, tell, tell your, your dog. Tell everybody, man. Tell yeah. your tell everybody. You know to subscribe guys. And guys, merch coming soon, guys. We have hoodies, we have t-shirts, we have crew necks, guys. Stay tuned. We're gonna tell you guys the date soon because it's coming soon. Obviously, if you're smart, you're gonna do the math, it's coming soon. <laughs> so guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. Blair, what do you have to say? What was your experience? It was good. It was not. I mean, hopefully, I get hopefully uh, I get to be back on the show soon. Definitely, guys, Maybe. because he's gonna hit us up on Instagram like you guys should, guys. Well, you comment. can call me. You have my number, so you can just call me. Exactly. So comment down below who you guys want to see down, on. Down. Listen to us. Comment down below what video you guys want us to do. We're gonna do it because we're not. Uh, also, if you guys want, if you guys want us to to, to, to to interview whatever a celebrity to be on the show, put it down, and message the celebrity, and then we're gonna message. It's gonna see. Exactly. It's gonna be like it's it's for real. Exactly. Come and we're gonna have them. Because 2020, you guys, it's gonna be a good year for us. Everyone, and it's gonna be a good year. So guys, remember, like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. See you guys in the next video.